the Van Heel model and teaching geometry. This article is written by three authors. First author Maria Salid Medita de los Santos. Second author Mona Liza El Sobertodo. Last author Arlene de Maisie Portillosa. Contribution and originality of the study is that, the study contributes to the existing body of language in terms of the lesson designs created using the phases of the Van Heel model addressing the challenges encountered by the teachers and the students of Bohol, Philippines, to make the learning of geometry more meaningful. The primary purpose of this study was to determine the effectiveness of the Van Heel model and teaching geometry to grade 8 students as the basis for designing instructional materials using the Van Heel model. This study used the quasi-experimental group design to assess whether there was a significant difference between the pre-test performance to the post-test performance of the control and experimental groups. The results revealed that both groups had established a significant mean gain difference from pre-test to post-test. Although the experimental group, taught using the Van Heel model, performed better than the control group, the teacher and the students encountered many challenges in each phase, but undeniably, the students enjoyed the activities. The majority of the students found that it is interesting to learn geometry using the phases of the model. The instruction using the Van Heel model is thus considered an effective way of teaching geometry and an alternative teaching strategy to the traditional method. Therefore, this method is proper when teaching geometry, especially to students with different learning needs, because of the presence of various geometric experiences. Thanks for watching this video of World Journal of Vocational Education and Training Volume 4 Issue Number 1.